Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. In this video, I'm going to talk about a special matrix and that is called the triangular matrices. And also, I will be talking about how can you find the determinant of a triangular matrix. So, the triangular matrix is defined as such. We will have a square matrix, n times n matrix, and it is called an upper triangular if aij is equal to zero for all i greater than j well basically what it's trying to say here is that we will need to be able to consider where are the positions where i is greater than j first of all and we need to make sure that for all that the value of elements in that position or in that area has to be zero so first of all, if you look at these two matrices uh, given here, well, let's try to find the position where i is greater than j. So the position of i greater than j, as you can see here, it corresponds to, for example, this position. One, uh, sorry, for example, this position. Well, 2 is greater than 1. So i is greater than j, obviously. This one here is also... 3 greater than 2, which is again i greater than j. Similarly, this one is um, n greater than 3. And also, uh, if you notice, um, what we have over here is the, the main diagonal. So the main diagonal is the position where i is equal to, to j. So here we have, this is the main diagonal. Okay. Um, therefore, if you want this position where i a i j is equal to zero for i greater than j that means you are looking at this area and this area all have to be zero so we are looking at this part really so this is the the, the part where it is below the the main diagonal as you can see here and this is the definition for an upper triangular so this is an example of uh, upper triangular matrix okay so we have the rest of it all the values on top of the main diagonal uh, we have values that are non-zero or it could also be you know have zeros in it and it doesn't matter what matters is all the values at the bottom here have to be zero <clears throat> Now, since we have understood the definition of upper triangular matrix, then the lower triangular matrix is going to be, um, you know, similarly defined or have the opposite definition where here is the lower triangular matrix is the situation where Aij is less than zero for all I less than J. Uh, and so you can see that we have this area here so this is the area where i is less than j and everything in that area has to be zero uh, for this area you can have a combination of numbers and uh, you can have the combination of other values and also you can have zero in it but the important point is this part here all have to be zero and that's the definition for a lower triangular matrix so here is the lower triangular matrix okay and in particular if you have the combination of uh, everything under the main diagonal is zero and everything uh, and this side is zero therefore um, you will get a diagonal matrix okay a diagonal matrix is um, a matrix a special matrix where they only have values here at the main diagonal here so the values of non-zeros are at the main diagonal at this position but then everything else at the bottom of the main diagonal and at the top of the main diagonal are all zero so here it says aij is zero for all i not equal to j so i not equal to j are the this area not equal to j and also this area all right 
okay so let me just uh, write this um, matrix example of this matrix will be here we will have a11 a12 until a and n and so <clears throat> you will have this part here where everything here has to be all zero and again at the bottom here of the main diagonal everything has, has to be zero so that is the definition of diagonal matrix okay okay uh so let us try to determine what type of triangular matrix matrix is given here well you can see here that everything else is zero therefore um, and again this is the main diagonal okay this is the main diagonal therefore this matrix is a um, lower triangular matrix this one well you can identify this is the main diagonal and everything else at the bottom here is zero therefore this is an upper triangular matrix now again this is the main diagonal on the upper part here is everything uh, is everything else is zero and therefore this is the lower triangular matrix okay for this example this is the main diagonal uh, everything else at the bottom of the main diagonal is zero therefore this is an upper triangular matrix and finally this is the main diagonal and you can see that the upper part here is zero therefore this is the lower triangular matrix okay <clears throat> now when you have a triangular matrix you can easily find the determinant of that matrix by multiplying the entries on the main diagonal so that is very easy to do so we are just focusing on the main diagonal and you just applying a multiplication process for each of them so this is a11 a22 until it goes on and this is the last entry on the main diagonal uh, as a simple example here we have a 3 by 3 matrix and this is the main diagonal therefore in order to find the determinant of a you are just going to uh, multiply 1 times 4 times 1 which is equal to 4 and the reason why we can do this is because uh, you can see this is the triangular matrix in fact this is actually the upper triangular matrix and therefore you can find the determinant of that by multiplying the, the entries on the main diagonal okay right uh, let us try and look at how this idea comes about like how can you get this idea well intuitively speaking um, what we can do is okay this is the same idea uh, that you have seen in the previous slide if you have a triangular matrix the determinant of that can be obtained by multiplying the the entries on the main diagonal yeah so in order to explain that or in order to explain this formula here i'm just going to give a simple example where here we don't we are representing the numbers using alphabets so you can see that this is the diagonal it can be any values but now we're just representing it with a b c d and we're going to show that the determinant of this matrix is is as such by multiplying a with b c and d and therefore you will be able to see that this kind of process sort of um, carries to whatever um, n by n matrix okay you'll be able to see that and uh, these are the values at the top and everything else are zero here at the bottom of the main diagonal so how do we find the determinant of this matrix uh, well 
we have to use the idea of uh, finding the determinant of a matrix where the matrix is of higher order uh, which is greater than 2 so this is a 4 by 4 matrix and we can start off by considering um, which row or which column that you would like to expand and clearly we should be doing this uh, first column expansion because there are a lot of zeros in it and we will be able to um, save a, a lot of time by not having to find all the minus and cofactors okay so let's say um, we want to find the determinant of a and we're going to use the first column expansion therefore according to the formula that you have seen in the previous videos what we need to consider is we're supposed to consider a11 c11 this is the cofactor a21 c21 a31 c31 plus a41 c41 however you can see that for a21 a31 and a41 the the values are zero so this one here will all be cancelled out yes therefore the formula to find the determinant is simply reduced to finding just a1 a11 times c11 and what are those those can be represented as a11 is a so here a c11 okay so that's the the formula now what we need to do is we need to find what's the value of c11 so in order to find the value of c11 you need to be able to find what is m11 so m11 can be obtained if you consider deleting the first row and the first column so you have a three by three matrix here b u v and then 0, C, W, 0, 0, D. And you need to be able to find the determinant of this matrix. Again, what we can do is uh, we need to choose which row or which column for the expansion. And clearly, what you can do is uh, we can choose this column here for expansion the first column because here we have uh, two zeros the most zeros in it well therefore uh, we can write down this as well based on this three by three matrix i can write down this as a11 c11 i'm just going to this use this different notation to differentiate between this a11 with this and c11 with this one okay i'm just adding this uh, little apostrophe at the top here so what we have is um, notice that this one is zero so if you write down a21 and a2 a31 uh, it's all going, going to be cancelled out because these entries are all zero so the determinant of M M M11 will be uh, this one here. Well, that becomes uh, B C11. Okay. And we need to be able to find what is uh, this guy here. What is this value? So, in order to find that, I need to find M11, which is can be obtained if I delete the first row and the first column and I have obtained a 2x2 two two matrix which is like this and I can easily find the determinant of this matrix as CD minus 0 so it's just CD okay what is C11 C prime 11 well 1 plus 1 is 2, so we know it's a positive exponent. Uh, therefore, the matrix here is going to have a positive sign with this value. So the, the thing here is going to be CD. Okay? And I will supply this result to this, to this part here. Therefore, um, this becomes 
B times C times D. But this is M11. What I need to do is I need to find C11. So what is C11? Again, notice that 1 plus 1 here is 2. It is um, an even number. Therefore, the sign of this uh, is going to be a positive sign. So positive BCD is going to be BCD. And I will supply this uh, value right to this part. Therefore, I'm able to show that determinant of A is going to be A times B times C times D. Okay, uh, I think, I guess that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.